I just want you to admit that you got your food so I don't lose my job. I deliver food to you and then you, you sit there and tell my work I never dropped the food off. I delivered it here to her. So hopefully they have cameras, but she's trying to say I never dropped her food off. I'm just waiting for you to admit that you took your food and I'll leave you alone. Let's go, boy! Yeah! What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video is the story of a door dasher getting a text saying that the CVS worker, as you guys seen in the video, didn't receive her food. So the door dasher decided to go up there and confront her about it. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Excuse me. I was just wondering why you said that your food never got delivered when I handed it to you. So you did a, oh yeah, it definitely does. And it's like, that's, that's fraud. And now I might get charged for it. It says that you reported that I never delivered your food to you. Well, according to my, okay, that's fine. But I was saying it's, it's, it's fraud and stealing. I'm sorry, but you know, when, when, I'm, when I'm getting in trouble for my job, I apologize, ma'am. Yeah, so I got a text message from DoorDash saying that you, because you had the nerve to report your food as never being received, so I can get in trouble and have to pay for it or lose my job. Don't report it as being. Okay. So you're saying you got your food? You told me alone. That's what I'm saying. You're if saying you, you got your food? That's fine. We can talk. Me, about... I'm so That's just. Me. I just needed to say that you got your food. I need to get my job. You call the police. We can talk about fraud and all I that. I don't want to talk about, lady. You're in my job of business. Leave me alone. Period. Who's your manager? I'm a manager. You don't got another boss? No, I don't. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. CVS is hiring thieves here, huh? I just want you to admit that you got your food so I don't lose my job. I deliver food to you and then you, you sit there and tell my work I never dropped the food off. I delivered it here to her. So hopefully you have cameras because she's trying to say I never dropped her food off. And I'm just waiting for you to admit that you took your food and I'll leave you alone. It is that serious. It, it, it's fraud. It's stealing. You stole, and now you're trying to make me get in trouble for it. Why don't you get back on DoorDash and tell them you got your food then? It's because you didn't want to pay for the crazy big meal that you purchased. You're talking about crazy big Steak, shrimp, chicken meal. You for, you forget about what you just ate. Okay. Record that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to corporate. I just want you to admit that you stole. I just want you to leave me alone. I want you to admit that I you want stole. You to leave me alone. Well, it's not going to happen because you're messing up my job now. Fuck, leave me oh, you don't care that? that? Oh, like good. Happen. So you messed with my job. Now I'm messing with your job. How about that? Sounds pretty even to you? You lied and said you didn't get your food so you don't have to pay for it. You lied so you didn't have to pay for your food. And now you're trying to get me in trouble with my job. You should be really ashamed of yourself that you would do something like that. So you just don't care about stealing? So stealing doesn't make you feel ashamed? Stealing doesn't make you feel ashamed at all. You're just totally content with stealing. Awesome. CVS should really know what kind of employees they have. You probably steal from here too. Because I'm waiting for you to admit that you're stealing. Because you're stealing. You're trying to take money. Oh, I'm oh I'm gonna send them this video. I'm recording everything. Oh, I don't need permission. It's public place. North Carolina state law. Only one person has to approve of the recording, and that one person can be me. So I'm very aware of the laws. Well, that's okay because I'm gonna send this to corporate and let them know. Good, good, good. I hope you enjoyed your food. Hope it filled you up and is energizing you for your shift, even though you didn't pay for it because you wanted to lie and say you never received your food. Let's talk about some DoorDash because I DoorDash myself. I, I do it on the weekends. It's kind of fun to do. I make a little bit of extra money to go to the casino, but I haven't had any major problems. I look at my ratings and everything. So far, I'm a five-star dasher. When I go on my ratings, I got like 12 five-stars, one four-star, and one three-star. And I want to say that that three-star I'm thinking that three star was like recent. I had a delivery that was going to a hotel on Euclid Avenue 
And this young lady was like all the way up on the 15th or 16th floor. And she wanted me to come all the way up there and leave the food at the door. So when I came there, the last time I went to a hotel, we couldn't do that. We, we had to call the person and let them know that their food was downstairs and they had to come downstairs and get it because they didn't allow us to go upstairs and leave the food. So I called her and I said, hey, this is the door dasher. Your food is here. I'm leaving it downstairs. Oh, no, no, no. I gave specific instructions for you to get in the elevator and bring it all the way up to the 15th floor. And I was like, well, some of the hotels in the area don't allow us to go up on the floor, especially if we're delivering stuff. So the young lady behind the desk, she was like, yes, that is true, but you can go ahead and do it. And I was like, oh, okay, no problem. So I take it upstairs, drop it on the floor, take a picture, call her up, let her know that it's outside waiting on her, and then I leave. So the next day, I go to check my ratings just to keep up with everything. Of course, my acceptance rating is like way down. I don't care about that because I cherry pick just about everything and everything else seems to be pretty cool until I go into the customer rating and I got like 10 or 12 five stars, one four star and one three star. And again, like I said before, I'm going to think that that three star is from that lady in the hotel. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this. If you're a door dasher, let me know in the comments below if you had any issues like this that you didn't give them the order or or you had some type of bad interactions or any crazy stories that that you had with a, with a DoorDash customer, let us know in the comments below. For everything else, guys, if y'all like this video, make sure you leave a like. I'll come at you with another one. Peace.